Yo, what's poppy gamers? Welcome back to a brand new video. And as you can see, we got our little Halloween fit on. I'm a Reaper. Anyways, we're playing a game called Paragon today, which I'll be showing you guys all the details you need. Go ahead and do a little quick spin. This is new. I haven't spun in this yet, so we'll see what we get. All right, the worst one you can get, I think. <laughs> But we have two cases to open, so I can do a quick little opening for you guys. Look at that. Let's skip. Oh, that's pretty sick. And then we have a diamond one. I'm not going to skip this one. What are we going to get? Oh, I wanted that green AK one. Ah, that's not bad. Paintball gun. That skin's pretty cool. All right, but yeah, this is the lobby area for this game. This is actually a zombie round based. And in my opinion, it's probably the best. And I'm going to be showing you guys why I feel that way. Three rewards. Don't mind if I do. What the... Alrighty, to start things off, when you load into the game, you get to choose one of the characters. And I think you actually get a free choice when you hit a certain level in the game, which I think is level 10. You get to choose any character you want. And then they also have rotating weeks of certain characters. So you have that one. Uh, my personal favorite is this one, Winter, because this character is just great for massive hordes on the map. And uh, like I said, this is actually a zombie game. So we're gonna be doing round based stuff. And what's really cool is one, the art style is awesome. Hold on. And I do have the VIP sword because, you know, I just have to buy it. Oh, how do I inspect? I don't remember how to inspect. But yeah, I got this cool little sword. It's pretty sick. Oh, V to inspect. There we go. Check this out. Yeah, I love the hands in this game. It reminds me of Jet's hands from Valorant. But yeah, it's similar to other Roblox games and also Call of Duty. It has a pack a punch for 10,000. Unfortunately, I don't think you can pack a punch your melees. That would have been pretty cool. They do have perks in the game. This one is flak jacket, reduced explosion damage. And you might be questioning, why would you need a reduction of explosion damage? And you guys will see throughout this match why we need that. And I am playing a harder difficulty. I'm playing a medium, which has more variety of zombie spawns oh that's a new one. Oh, oh that one came out of nowhere but yeah it basically spawns more enemies early on as well as spawn more element enemies as well that's one of our teammates that's an ability somebody used and talking about abilities we need to find some zombies real quick so i can show you guys what the characters do in this game well first off i guess i could show you guys q this basically will increase your movement speed it's like you're on ice as you can see and i'm pretty sure if enemies walk along this they kind of slow down we'll have to test it out okay we got some zombies over here let's try running through them with our q see what happens uh, we didn't even get to test it. All right. <laughs> okay, we can test our E. You get spikes come from the ground, which is pretty sick. And then our X, which basically just freezes the area. That's basically our ultimate. That's what you're going to want to use whenever you're in trouble. and hey, you have a ton of zombies around you. But I was just showing it off. That does have the longest cooldown. Just a heads up. And it's telling me to go grab a Pack-A-Punch. So let's go do that real quick. They have some really cool guns in here as well from Pack-A-Punch. So I might hit the box twice. Can't remember how much it costs though. Probably like 900 or 1,000. Bruh. I ran all that way and they reset the mystery box. So I'm going to have to go find it somewhere else. What's the zombie doing? Where'd you go? Where you at? Hey, get back here. Drop this right here. Boom. Just like that. Oh, got to reload. One thing I do wish they would add to this game is actually zombie noises. I'm not sure why they didn't. See if this does. Yeah, it does slow them. Look at that. It's pretty cool. It's pretty useful when there's a lot of zombies. All right. Mystery box is over here. Now, hopefully we can get something cool for you guys. Oh, look at that gun. <laughs> Love the art style in this game a lot. Okay. We got the golden Luger. Oh my God. You cannot see when you shoot this gun. Reload. Yeah, so for this one, you definitely... What the... Oh, the Luger's not too bad. Try to drop this over here. Boom. Having some frame problems. Yeah, Roblox recently has been having some FPS problems. We're already out of ammo. Uh, they did go ahead and add in more ammo drops, which is good, because that was a problem in this game a little while ago. Ooh, yes, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted to show you guys. Check this out. The reload animation for it too i do want to replace this luger so we're gonna hit the box again probably shouldn't because we should definitely buy some perks but we don't got just one dual wield we got two dual wield wait does it use both ammo it doesn't it's two separate interesting that's kind of cool you can do that don't need oh i had to reload those two very nice boom oh we got two time coins Oh. Okay, 
Very nice. We definitely need to get some sleight of hand for sure. Oh my God, look at the amount of coins on the ground. We're loading. Our last 10 bullets. Swapped these. All right, I think that is rapid fire. You shoot faster. This is like jug, I would think. So we're gonna grab some jug. We have 11K. We are running out of ammo pretty quickly though. That was 6,000 for that. What the? He's on his gaming chair, dude. Yeah, but this game is actually really fun to just kind of casually just run around and play. I will say that if you do level up enough to play the hard mode, it can get pretty challenging. So just a heads up. I'm also not putting my abilities to use either, which would make things a little bit easier on my end, especially in terms of ammo. <laughs> but you see that guy with the RPG? That's why you need the flak jacket, because I do hurt a lot. My whole team is down. What's going on here, guys? Oh, the boss is here. That's not good. I don't have ammo. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Ooh, we got max ammo. Perfect. This person does have good abilities, so I'm going to go for her first. So she has like this freeze ability, which is pretty cool. This other teammates are running from me. I need them to not do that. Stop running from me, please. Unfortunately, I don't think I got her up. Oh yeah, I did. Look at that, I'm clutching up. Right, we got the boss left, which is really cool. We do get bosses in this, and I think they're different per map. It's not always the same. But unfortunately, it looks like he got stuck in the corner for some reason. Nice. We can pack a punch this. Ooh, we pack a punch it right before the map switch. Uh, and what I really do like about this is that every 10 rounds, the map switches. So it's kind of fresh. Obviously, it's still kind of the same concept, but it's a different map. So it's pretty cool. What's this one? Oh, we got to get melee kills. I don't know if we could do that this late into the game. I'll try. Yeah, that mission is no go. Let's use up all the ammo in this unpack a punch dual wields. Oh, I guess I could show you guys what the pack a punch look like. It's not much different. I wish it would change the sound and also the bullet effects, but I do have the VIP, so I do get rainbow bullets, which is pretty cool. I'll go ahead and reload this though. There we go. I'm gonna use up this ammo and then we're gonna go ahead and hit the box and swap these out. We'll keep our pack a punch ones though this increase reload speed we do need that that's 5,000. yeah but i would definitely say this is probably my favorite take on the zombies on roblox obviously it's there is some originality but there's also that non-originality because it is similar to call of duty zombies once again like all the other games are but i feel like this one is definitely more original than those ones mainly for the fact that a lot of them try to remake maps from the game uh, oh my god, that zombie literally had a gun that pulled me forward. Exactly what I was talking about, how I said this game is a bit more original. But yeah, those games really try to basically remake Call of Duty zombies. Why am I lagging so much? Please stop. Dude, the little zombies won't get off of me. Stop it. I got a feeling I'm gonna get monkey right here. Ah, oh, what? Are you just gonna reroll my gun? He had to have bought it. There's no way. Drop that right there. Very nice. Okay, I got that one. Oh! We got Hunter. Here's a look at the one of the snipers. Has irons, though. There better be a game pass for me to buy so I can auto pick up all these coins instead of me having to run over them. That would be pretty nice. Hey, man, let people have a turn, you know? I kind of want to hit the box, too, you know? Oh, we got the M4. Dude, I love their art style in general. Like, on all their weapons, I love the art style of them. They're very nice. The M4 is definitely not the greatest weapon, but I feel like it'll be pretty decent pack-a-punched, so we will keep it. I do wish we do had wall weapons, though, so we can constantly buy ammo off the wall for those weapons, like you could in Call of Duty. Okay, we gotta focus the guy with the RPG back there. Got him. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, things are getting scary. Back out of that. Okay, I'm completely out of ammo already on those. I have one bullet in this one. Guys, we need to max ammo like right now, right now. We had to run all the way around and try to hit the pack a punch in order to get ammo. This was a problem I was having in the game where you just run out of ammo so quick and we don't get enough of it. I don't know if pack a punching gives you ammo back. Let's try it. It does, okay. We're back. We're back in business. Level 15. Look at these effects on the weapon, dude. Pretty cool. Ow! Oh! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! 
How did they get there? Okay, they're coming from everywhere. I think it's because our teammates are dead that that's happening. Ooh, we got insta kill. Finally get to use our melee. <laughs> we gotta make it to the highlighted area, which is over here. I don't think we have time though. I don't think we can, yeah, there's no way. I could pack a punch again, or should I buy more perks? I'm gonna go buy this perk over here. By the way, if you do complete these missions at the top, I'm pretty sure you do get a max ammo. So that is one way to continuously get more ammo. This costs 8,000, which I think is rapid fire. Yeah, oh my God. Okay, so you remember how we had ammo problems, right? Yeah, it's about to be way worse. We're already out of ammo. We have actual zero. All right, guys, I'm gonna need you guys to chill out. Okay, my teammates circling these guys around. That's not good. Calm down. I'm gonna be running into all of them right here. Okay, hit them with the freeze. I don't wanna waste, like, get rid of my pack-a-punch guns, but unfortunately, that's how this game is. I'll get rid of the dual blasters. You guys already seen these. I'll try to get more weapons, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, I guess uh, we're just gonna die here, teammate. Are you gonna stick around to help me get a gun? Like, I kinda helped you, or we get a sniper? All right. Oh, and it's one of these. Oh, no. I might die because this thing keeps shooting rockets at me. This is very unfortunate, I gotta tell you. Hey, at least it collaterals. That's good. I'm one HP right now. No! No! The box has moved. I missed my shot. Not gonna lie, the snipers do feel good in this game though. Like they really do. I don't have explosion protection, but I only have 18 shots left in this. So I don't know if I should hit the box again. This is not good. Stop it. I'm just trying to line them up so I can try to do as most damage as possible. Really get the use out of my bullets. Got to help teammate out there. Okay, hopefully teammate doesn't take my pack of, or not pack a punch, my box again. A Luger? Come on, man. Uh-oh. Oh, that's really not good. Going to hit that real quick. Get out of here. Oh, we got ammo. I did not realize. For the exploding pumpkins, I do wish that, like, if you blew them up, right, it would do also damage to the AI, the zombies as well. Got more max ammo. We need a three gun perk. That's what we need. Come on, teammate. Hang in there. No, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Okay. Okay, my turn, right? It's my turn, right? I don't know if I got that. Banana? Check this out. Oh, there's no more mobs. Whoa. Oh, I was fully expecting this to shoot a banana and explode. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Drop that right there. Nice. Oh, got to reload again. Can you aim the banana? You cannot. Would have been pretty funny. Oh my God, my FPS, man. I don't know what's going on with Roblox, but the performance has been awful recently. I promise you guys it's not the game because this is not how it was like literally two weeks ago. I might die. Yeah, because I'm being... Have have toxic stuff being shot at me, dude. That thing, that guy right there. Trying to help teammate out because we don't kill that thing. It's going to kill everybody. There we go. Come on, teammates. Give me. Why are you guys running past me? I definitely overstayed my welcome. That's for sure. But my teammates just don't care. Hello? Okay, dude. Bro. Anyways, that is Paragon. Usually you do get teammates that don't res you at all, but I go out of my way to res them. So just how it works sometimes. But I feel like I did show off quite a bit of this game. I absolutely love this game. If you guys want to try it out, I'll leave a link in the description. It's made by well-known devs. They created the Strucid game as well. And everybody loved that back when that was popular. And this game is also hitting upwards to 5,000 players. It's usually averaging around 2,000 and 5,000. So it's doing really good. I definitely do recommend it. They do also have a PVP mode as well. And I do want to mention, if you guys want to see more content like this, make sure you guys do hit the like button. I'll definitely play some more of the zombie side of things and also the PVP. I'll do that in a separate video. But I want to play the hardest difficulty on this. So I had to get level 20, I believe it is. Uh, and I'll lock that and I'll do a collab with some other friends of mine and YouTubers. And we'll play the hardest difficulty because it is pretty challenging. But yeah, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you guys want to try out the game, once again, like I said, it's in the description but I'm going to go ahead and go. Peace out.